Sal, you wanted to see a, a strong effort like you saw in the first period there in the third. Just uh, kind of your overall thoughts on the way the Devils finished the game. They definitely finished strong, Eric, and that was the third period that I wanted to see from them. They had scoring chances, but Matt Murray made more timely saves throughout the game, and that allowed Pittsburgh Penguins to walk away with two points. But uh, the Devils had chances yeah. right through the end there, and look, it's one of those things where um, the process, as Coach Hines would always say, it was definitely there in the third period. It's just sometimes uh, you can't control if the puck goes in, and Matt Murray... Uh, other than you know, the Miles Wood goal, I know he'd like to have that one back, was the difference in the third period. Yeah, so you just referenced the Miles Wood goal there. That really set Prudential Center alive, feeling that a comeback could indeed happen. He puts this within one with just under five minutes to go in regulation. Well, it starts with the, the one face-off there, and then as you can see, Miles Wood has got speed, and that is just the difference maker. And it, it, it seems like a, a simple breakout, but you get a scoring chance off this, and... You know, it's one of those things where Severson wraps it around, Miles Wood uses his speed, and good things happen. He gets the puck on net. You, know, you always say that, young kids out there, take your shot. And, you know, it fooled Matt Murray because of change of speed there. Sure. But, hey, like, sometimes you can't control when that puck is going to go in. Just got to get on net there. And, you know, like I said, kudos to, to Miles Wood to use his strengths and his skill set to get that goal. Yeah, you certainly saw that physicality holding off the defender there and also that speed coming yeah. to action. All right, so another player who really had a strong night in this one was Marcus Johansson. He's really been just stellar as of late. He had a game-high eight shots on goal, part of a two-point night for Mojo. Yes, and we broke down this one. Look at Marcus Johansson come up high, and then patience finds Jesper back, back door right on the tape we talk about in the wheelhouse. And then it's just... This is the Marcus Johansson that everyone wanted to see. And over the last couple seasons, he had the injury, the concussions. You know, it's just been a tough goal for him. But he's finally finding his groove. And the chemistry between him and Brad is just noticeable. It's just remarkable. They know each where each other is. They're similar skill sets. They're shifty. They can think together. Again, another look at that. And same play, this time instead of making the pass back door, he elects to shoot it. Another scoring chance. It's just his overall game, the work ethic, the tenacity, it, it, it's there. And, you know, it's, uh, like I said, you hear people now say, wow, like, this is presenting a difficult challenge. You know, I, I still go on record saying it's, it's difficult to trade him because if he's going to play this way and he wants to stay here, you're not finding somebody anytime soon that's going to replace what he does on the ice. Yeah, and when he continues to play at the level he has, I believe he has uh, seven points or so in his last six games now.